Our plane crashed, and now we're stuck on this deserted island. Oh, just our luck. How are we going to survive this time? Well, there doesn't seem to be any food around, but... No food? Ahem, as I was saying, there seems to be a lot of bottled water around. But no food! Yeah, that definitely sucks. But at least the water will keep us alive until we're rescued. And how long do you think that'll take? Oh, I'm trying not to think about it. Our phone seems to have sunk in the ocean, so I have no idea where we are. It might be a while until someone notices we're here. This vacation is terrible. Doctor, we don't have any food on this island. Any tips on how to stay alive until we're rescued? Well, at least you have a lot of water. With this much water, you should be able to survive for about two to three months, even without food. Two to three months? I'll die by then! Uh, the doctor just said we'd be able to survive that long with the water. But it's just not the same. Water is bland, boring, and unsatisfying. Food, on the other hand, is yummy, scrumptious, filling, and oh, so heavenly. Oh, brother. The juiciness of a grilled hamburger topped with a tender bun surrounded by crunchy veggies and bathed in a delightful sauce is just breathtaking. Uh, stomach? Don't forget the fries on the side. Oh, and a thick, mouth-watering chocolate milkshake to wash it all down. Oh, would satisfy even the wealthiest of all men! Ah, well, at least he seems happy. Uh, Doctor, how are we able to survive without food for that long? The body adjusts if it is unable to access food for long stretches of time. It takes about 24 hours without eating for the body to change how it produces energy. Under normal circumstances, the body is broken down into glucose. This glucose is what provides energy. And during the first 24 hours without food, as the glucose storage is depleted, the body will begin to convert glycogen from myself and the muscles. Ahem. Uh, yes. Thank you for that, liver. I'll do my best during this troubling time. But what about after the first 24 hours? By then, the glucose and glycogen would have all been depleted. The body will begin to break down muscle tissue to provide energy. To prevent excessive muscle loss, the body will then rely on fat stores to create ketones for energy during a process known as ketosis. Man, I didn't know we'd be so complex. How long can we survive if the water runs out? Without food and water, the maximum you'd be able to survive is probably a week or less. Ooh. Ooh, let's hope it never comes to that. Uh, I'm just wondering, uh, what are the symptoms that we'll be facing during these next two months, Doctor? Symptoms of starvation may include faintness, dizziness, cognitive changes, low blood pressure, slow heartbeat, abdominal pain, heart attack, organ failure, and eventually... Death! Oh, what was that? Hey, where's the lobster I was mushing on? Oh, hey, stomach. Had a nice dream? Dream? Oh, why'd you have to remind me, brain? I was having so much fun in that tasty paradise. Now I'm back to gloomy reality with no food and no fun. Oh, uh, sorry about that, Stomach. But don't worry, we're sure to be rescued soon. First, let's make a large SOS sign out of these rocks so that planes flying overhead can see us. There, now we need to conserve our energy and make sure our water doesn't run out anytime soon. And I'm sure we'll be fine. Happy first month on the island, buddies. Yay. Are there presents? You guys are nuts. It's been a whole month on this cursed island with no yummy food and just bland, boring water. I'm so sad. I could just, just, no! Oh! Calm down, stomach. We need to conserve our energy and just relax until we get rescued. But that's just it, liver. We might never get rescued. We're going to die of starvation on this island, just like the doctor said! Hey, leave me out of this. Hey, liver. I think I found the presents you were asking about. Huh? Brain, what in tarnation are you talking about? I was just kidding. This! This nice present that appeared out of nowhere. Don't you see? It has yellow wrapping paper and a nice pink bow at the top. That's a rock. Hey, don't say that. It's the present we've gotten since we got here. We should be thankful for what we have. One man's rock is another man's present. Uh, I guess these are the cognitive changes the doctor was talking about. And a wonderful demonstration of that too. I'd better take notes. Ooh, I wonder what's inside. I'm too excited to wait for Christmas. I'm gonna open it up now! Ah, oh, what the heck. As long as he's happy and doesn't hurt himself. Fascinating. Simply fascinating. Oh, look, stomach. Just what you've always wanted. A nice, juicy hamburger. Huh? Are you making fun of me, brain? Mm-mm, I haven't eaten in a month. I can't wait to take a bite. Take a bite? No, wait, brain! Ow, my teeth! 
Aw, oh, that hurts! Now we don't have food and teeth? Aw, oh, good work, Brain. Liver, why didn't you tell me this was a rock and not a hamburger? Oh, brother. Ah! Huh? Liver, what's wrong? Stomach just tried to take a bite out of me. Uh, stomach? I tried to tell you. I said I wouldn't last this long. And now look at me! I haven't eaten anything in two months! And now I'll eat anything, even my buddies! It's a Halloween ah! episode! Who do I eat first? The intestines are the closest and the largest, so he'll definitely be the most filling. There's also the kidneys. Oh, the kidneys. I wonder if they taste different. And heart. Oh, Hart, you've always been my favorite. I wonder if you're as juicy as you look. Doctor, help! Stomach's gonna eat us all. Make him stop, please! Fascinating. Simply fascinating. What the? Are you still writing in that thing? What is it even for? It's for the book I'm writing. What? Are you writing about us slowly starving to death on this island? It's going to be a bestseller. Ah, uh, no, Stomach, stop! <laughs> The intestines taste so good! Ah, whatever. Write as many books as you want. Just do something about stomach before he eats all of the intestines. Can't do that, liver. What? Why? Don't tell me it's because of your stupid book. Right as rain, I've got to document every single detail of this excursion. No detail must be left out. Fascinating. Simply fascinating. Ah, brain, help! Sorry, liver. There's nothing I can do. Can't you at least talk some sense into stomach? No. You see... It's even worse than you think. Our water ran out. I couldn't find the courage to tell you. Heart's also giving out. He may suffer a heart attack soon. Stomach's in so much pain he's lost himself and will eat anything. And I'm so weak. I can't even think anymore. I can't even remember properly. Oh, brain. Remind me, liver. We had some fun times, didn't we? Could you tell me about them? Oh, uh, okay, well, there was that time we went skydiving but forgot our parachute. It was super painful when we landed. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that now. And Everest. We climbed Everest. And we nearly made it to the top, too. Oh, wow. How could I forget that? Thanks for reminding me, Liver. You're a true friend. Bray, no! Don't give up! We can still make it. You've gotta believe! That's just it, Liver. How can I? We did all the right things. We kept Hope alive for two months straight, even in the direst of situations. But it still wasn't enough. So I think it's time to go. Brain, no! Hey, look! A ship! A ship! Finally! A ship! Mm -mm, finally, some real grub! At this point, I'll eat anything! Yeah, I know! Huh? What are you talking about, intestines? Huh, looks like stomach doesn't remember a thing. Let's hope it stays that way. Let's just keep him fed so we don't let the monster loose again. <laughs> so good! Fascinating. Simply fascinating! Subscribe!